Hello students, uh, welcome to this uh, energy engineering uh, subject, subject code 17ME71. So today we are going to discuss about module 1. So the module 1 is uh, basic uh, concept of conversion system which are used in th thermal power plants. Okay, let us see what are the contents in this uh, module 1. So in this uh, subject we are going to study about the uh, review of energy scenario in India and general philosophy and need of the energy and different types of fuel used for steam generation and uh, equipment for burning coal in lump form and strokers and different types oil burners and advantage and disadvantages of polarized fuel and uh, coal and ash handling systems and uh, how the steam is going to be generated with the different uh, types of uh, force convection, high and super heated pressures and we are, further we are going to study about chimney in that uh, produced uh, what is the uh, produced given draft and cooling towers and ponds and axles are used in uh, steam generators such as preheater, super heater, D super heater okay economizer a predator like that so these are all things we are going to study okay first we'll uh, discuss about uh, the what is mean by energy and uh, what is the energy scenario in india first of all we understand what is mean by energy so energy is required everywhere okay so energy means energy is a capacity to do the work so to reach this any of the the human requirements the source of energy is very very important so energy demand in india is expected to in, uh, increase with the uh, next 10 to 15 years although in new oil and gas plants are also planned the coal is expected to remain the dominant fuel for power generation even though we have so many sources but coal is a uh, dominant fuel for all power plant generations Okay, the trends in the production of primary commercial energy in the past five decades indicates the coal is the most abundant and among all the commercial energy sources. Example, oil, if you take any other oil or uh, uh, commercial energy sources, so coal is a uh, very abundant source. So, we, uh, it is a uh, huge amount from the last uh, five decades. So, these are all uh, energy uh, sources are available and uh, so what is the philosophy behind it and uh, uh, why it is energy is needed so subject to this energy has a great practical significance in connection with the question about the scarcity and finite reserves the economics of transforming one form of energy into another and the merits of different form related to their side effects okay so already you know the uh, according to uh, conservation of energy energy neither be created and not be destroyed but it can be converted into one form into another form so further so this energy is very important in today world so for example we use different energy sources to generate electricity we need for our home school or some business purposes and uh, to run the factory okay so the general i mentioned very few but electricity powers of all our day-to-day -day life like computer, TVs, air conditioner, cell phones, refrigerator, washing machine, okay. So for every all electric equipments, though energy is very, very important. There is a so, uh, need of energy to any, uh, run any kind of equipments. So what are the types of fuels? Uh, you know that the fuels are available uh, in the three forms. One is solid. A liquid and gases fuel for example solid the solid is nothing but example is a coal and for liquid you may say uh, diesel petrol any uh, oil crude oil so this are all uh, comes under liquid fuel and gases so different gases are there hydrogen fuel nitro all kind of gases uh, things we consider as a fuel. example hydrogen gas is one of the example for the gases fuel even natural gas so these are all we consider as a gases fuel again we have categorized subdivided artificial natural 
so we will not much go into that so now we are going to concentrate in this module for the solid fuse okay so now we are going to different types of firing methods are used for this solid fuel so example i already told solid fuel means uh, uh, for example coal if you take there are two types one is hand firing and mechanical stroke firing so another category is there that is pulverized fuel that is unit type and pin or central system so these are all different uh, firing methods which are used for the thermal power plants where it is used for uh, coal as a fuel okay okay now let us discuss about the uh, ore feed system so in this ore feed system the coal is in a different size and shape so that you are going to be uh, feeded in this uh, system uh, for the uh, for the for, for continuation of in case of ore feed uh, system what happened uh, the coal is fed into this grate above this point of the air admission the air are used for large capacity boilers where pulverized coal is being to be used and the mechanism of this combustion is ore feed stroker uh, which i have shown in this figure first one the air from the fan okay uh, that uh, with the, uh, with its water vapor contains from the atmosphere enter into the bottom of the uh, grate under the pressure so what happened so as air passes through the grate so it absorbs the heat uh, from ash and grate itself then it cools both of them uh, then the hot air passes through the bed of a condensed coke where uh, co2 uh, o2 is react with the c then it forms co2 so there are uh, two uh, combination one is primary air plus water vapor another one is primary air plus water vapor so it combines it co2 it forms and it entirely depends upon the rate of air supply generally all uh, generally all the area present uh, to the air and the surface in the uh, in condensed region for a fuel bed of 8 cm deep so hence no free oxygen will be present in the gases so it leaves the condensed zone water vapor entering to the air also reacts with the carbon uh, from co2 and it free from h2 while traveling through the incandescent region of some of the co2 reacts with the coke so this is how uh, or feed a stroker the next one is uh, principle of uh, under feed uh, under feed what stroker under feed uh, over stroker what happened uh, there are different uh, segments are arranged okay here uh, this type of coal is admitted to in the furnace below the point of air admission it is both air and uh, moves in the same direction air as well as the coal fuel so in this, so because of this type it's suitable for burning the semi bituminous and uh, bituminous type of coals so this combustion mechanism is under feed at stroker can be explained uh, like this uh, what we can explain so air is enters through the holes in the grate and meets the green coal and it diffuses through a bed of green coal and meets the volatile matter produced by the green coal so when the heat is for the distillation is obtained by conduction from a condensed coke with the it exists of uh, above coal okay so the air is uh, formed here the air is formed so in this case the air is formed okay the volatile matters mix each other and it enter into the incandescent zone by bypassing the uh, through the ignition zone so here you can see the ignition zone so it is passing uh, through this and these are all primary and uh, uh, both side primary and primary airs are entering while entering this uh, at the bottom of the stroke the ash is at a higher temperature than the ore feed system okay this is about the principle of ore feed system now let us discuss about what are the different types of uh, uh, strokers are there 
so first one is conveyor stroke in that again chain great stroker and traveling great stroker okay uh, and uh, spreader stroker are there uh, the main category is under feed stroker there are two types again single red dot stroker and multi red dot stroker so we will discuss in detail about this uh, concept in the coming slide thanks for watching this video